so the, the real question is, uh, I think you've, you've gathered, I like the monitor. Would I recommend it for you? Is it, is it suitable for your PS4 and PC use? Well, I, I think I can answer that question. One second. Welcome to VintageGamer.com. Today we are doing an unboxing and a review of the Hewlett Packard HP uh, 27EA display. And I did see reviews online, Amazon, other, other sites about this uh, display. Um, but I didn't really see anyone talking about it in videos on YouTube uh, when I was at the store uh, doing my last minute research. Um, I found this at Costco. And uh, they just had pallets. Uh, I think they had like two pallets full of these. And it was uh, $1.99 at Costco, which um, I was in desperate need of a, a bigger monitor. And this uh, definitely fit the bill. So this is uh, 27 inches, uh, you know, di measured diagonally, of course. We're watching uh, footage that I have, uh, gameplay I recorded for my uh, Need for Speed Rivals review on the PS4. Um, and this is our... This is our temporary office uh, for future unboxings and for future uh, product reviews. We, we, I will have a, a nicer, more uh, semi more professional setup, but right now I'm out in the garage because we're painting, getting furniture and stuff for, for my office. So we got a white background or white, uh, white rear, uh, which um, isn't rare exactly, but it, it's not, not the norm. I don't mind it. Um, I like a very clean, so you can see I use lots of whites and blacks and grays, and there's my file cabinet. <laughs> but uh, it works for me. I like it. It's very, uh, seems nice. Uh, the speakers are in the rear here. They're not horrible. Um, if you watch the uh, BenQ monitor reviews I've done, those don't even have speakers, so it's nice to have something. Um, so there is the, uh, where is it? There's the uh, audio and some more sound, the VGA, and we got two HDMIs, which I totally appreciate. And one thing that may be a problem, uh, one thing that may be a problem for some of you, you'll notice this does not have a VESA mount, which if you don't know, VESA is sort of, it's kind of a standard uh, screw configuration for putting on a, a, on a mount or a wall mounting or, or you know, whatever. Um, there are adapters for this particular type of, uh, it'll uh, take that and you can do, get an adapter and it'll, uh, it'll allow you to mount on VESA, which um, is probably what, probably what I will ultimately end up doing. Um, those adapters can be found on Amazon. I think, I, I think they were about 27 bucks. I'll put a link in the uh, description below. And I am not an Amazon affiliate, so don't think I'm getting rich off that. Uh, this is metal, by the way, it's not, uh, not plastic and I put up some game footage being a gaming channel I imagine most of you are going to be curious about how this thing performs for games again this is PS4 footage for I got probably about five hours of gaming on this monitor um, it was a mix of mostly PlayStation 4 also some Sega Dreamcast and uh, just for shits and giggles uh, I pulled up uh, Medieval 2, uh, I, I have that downloaded on the Mac. Um, I'm, I'm very pleased. Uh, PS4 is probably what most of you guys are going to be interested in. Um, hopefully the camera is doing it justice. I am uh, I'm pleased. I mean, we all know that the Xbox One and the PS4 are not capable of the frame rate some of you hardcore PC gamers are going to use. And to get to the crux of... of well, I'm sure what some of you are wondering are going to ask. I don't know if this monitor will satisfy the hardcore PC gamers. You know, it's perfectly satisfactory for console gaming. Um, I'm very, very happy with it. Uh, but you, I, I'm sure you nitpicky, I got to have a 4K $2,000 BenQ gaming monitor, blah, blah, blah. You know, if, if that's you, move along. This, this is not good, probably not going to cut it. For, I like the big 27 inches for the video editing I do. Uh, just, you know, it's, it's no big deal to have uh, two windows side by side. I can have my email up while I'm working on a document for my, my work. Um, I got plenty of space with this thing, and that, that's something I really, uh, 
really appreciate it. And it's totally adequate, obviously, with the vintage gaming. This is overkill, but with uh, modern stuff, PS4, you know, Xbox One and whatnot, this is totally, totally acceptable. I'm very happy with the, the colors, the contrast. There's not a lot of black light bleed, uh, black light bleed or anything like that. Uh, I'm, I'm very satisfied. So I pulled up some uh, stats real quick so I could give you guys the correct information from the uh, HP website. It is a six milliseconds response time, which uh, I'm sure somebody is balking at right this second, but I am, for my needs, for console gaming, totally fine for video editing you know it, it for the vast majority of us out there that is totally fine it is an ips with a led backlit and I'll, I'll zoom in real closer there's really no one thing that irritated the hell out of me with the uh, early uh, flat screens is the, the the bleed on black and you can see i got a dark gray up there and it's really not it's really not a problem. That is one big pleasant surprise uh, for me on this. The contrast ratio, it's a dynamic uh, 10 million to one contrast ratio. What I really like on this thing is also uh, the viewing angle. And I will see what I can accomplish here. Um, I just banged my foot into my printer. HP says it has a 178 degree viewing angle. Um, I mean, I don't want to attest to that exactly, but you can see the viewing angle is pretty damn good. One of the problems I was having with my old monitor, you'll see I got, uh, in this room, I got these uh, big fluorescent lights up here, and the, the reflection on the screen was a real problem. And this is great. I mean, if I really look and move my head a certain way, yeah, I guess I can see a reflection. But for normal use, even with the, the windows I have in here, um, I get a lot of daylight and it's temporary so that's why i'm not busting my ass uh making this room more suitable for computer use but uh even during the day with the daylight even with the neon lights on or fluorescent lights excuse me um i have no trouble seeing the screen so i am i am very uh i went the monitor wasn't even on in costco it was just it was just sitting on the shelf so uh i i kind of Kind of took a gamble here. Costco has a pretty nice return policy, uh, so I wasn't too worried about it, but uh, I wasn't real sure if I was even going to like this thing. And there were good reviews on Amazon, on HP, but if it's coming from the manufacturer's website, use caution. Uh, but uh, I'm just, I'm very, uh, very pleased for, for, my, for my needs. Again, you hardcore gamers. You're probably going to balk at a lot of these numbers, but uh, for, for the rest of us, for the 99%, uh, if you were looking for a bigger display, if you want a 27-inch display, I think this is a good way to go. So the, the real question is, uh, I think you've, you've gathered, I like the monitor. Would I recommend it for you? Is it, is it suitable for your PS4 and PC use? Well, I, I think I can answer that question. One second. As you can see, I've bought another one. Um, I normally use a uh, dual monitor setup, and uh, I wanted to try one out before I bought two. I'm sure you can appreciate that. So if I'm buying two of them, I think it's safe to say uh, I definitely highly recommend it. So let's go ahead and do the unboxing part, which I'm sure you were wondering about. And this is for the uh, monitor dose. Got myself a... Uh, Lennox box cutter. No more crappy steak knives. I'm trying to uh, be a little bit more professional around here. Plus, uh, people I live with were getting really pissed off I was using the steak knives to open the uh, packing boxes. So, and these things, I recommend Lennox for box openers. Um, there you go, take a look. I got this one at Lowe's yesterday. It was like 12 bucks. Uh, I bought a Stanley app. I think I was at Walmart. And the damn thing was broken right out of the box. I mean, how hard is it to manufacture a decent box opener? It's just a freaking razor blade on a handle. So hopefully you guys are getting all that, the usual foam and whatnot. Ah, 
So here's the uh, power cord. Nothing too remarkable. We have the uh, power cord goes into the power brick. Uh, pretty pretty standard stuff. It's all standard size uh, things. So nothing to worry about there. One concern I, I did have, these cords are pretty, pretty, pretty thin. I was worried about RF interference. Usually a thicker cord is a, is a good sign. Um, no problems to speak of, so I, I guess my concerns were not warranted. One thing I really give HP props for, they included an HDMI cable. Can you imagine that? And I, I realize it's a, it's a simple and inexpensive thing, but I really appreciate the gesture, Hewlett Packard. Thank you very much. That's uh, very considerate of you guys. That. All right. And I dropped more stuff. Typical. So here's what dropped. Just the uh, monitor stand. Come on. Now this thing was a pleasant surprise as well. As well. Uh, actual metal I don't know if you can hear that but actual metal and I don't even need a screwdriver they have one of these uh, thumb screw things so you just uh, flip that little thing up and you can turn it um, you know props to HP on this I think they've really stepped up their game in the monitor department uh, clearly they have they're thinking of people and the little conveniences the HDMI cord the, the thumb screw There are instructions, the requisite instructions for the morons that do not have, know how to use a monitor. You plug it in and you look at it, yet you need a 30 page instruction booklet. Oh, here is the uh, you guys probably want to see that just in case. And here's the quick setup, and it's gonna be a big sheet. I don't know who doesn't know how to use these things, um, but you know. But before I criticize that, when I bought this thing yesterday, it did not include instructions, and it took me like ten minutes to figure out how to insert the how to insert the blade. And it's, in my defense, it's a little funky because it has to be at a certain angle. Well, that wasn't good. Didn't mean to drop it. I should probably get a pad or something to do these things on. What do you think? Oh. Ta da! Ta da, ta da, ta da. Oh, and then. Just like the. Uh, so that metal mount fits into that guy. And we'll show you guys that right now. Wait a second, something's missing. Something is missing. The neck, the neck is missing. What did I do with that? Hmm. Still in the box. Oh. All right, also metal, solid metal. Thank you, Hewlett Packard, I appreciate that. And that kind of makes up for not having the best amount, in my opinion. Um, HP knew most people were probably just going to put these on the desk. They weren't going to wall mount them, or they couldn't, rather. And here's where that guy comes in handy. Righty-tighty, lefty-loosey. So they did include a quality stand. Um, really, I don't know. I'm, I don't mean to sound like I'm knocking HP. Um... I've had a fair amount of HP products over the years. I really haven't had too much trouble with them. And that just fits in there like that. There's no screw or anything there. It just fits in there. And one thing I did notice with monitor number one, 
you can slide that off. <laughs> so if you're moving it, be, be, be a little careful. You've got little rubber feet, so it's not all over the place. <clears throat> and voila. So let me back this guy up. And I will slide back into the picture. So I bought two of them. It's a good monitor. It will not satisfy you hard-ass gamers, and that, that's cool. You guys need and require different stuff. But, uh, like I said, for the 99% of us, good monitor. C couldn't be happier. And I didn't really see any uh, video reviews on it. There were literally thousands of good reviews on... Uh, I want to say CNET, but I'm not sure that's right. But definitely Amazon and, and HP. Uh, but no video reviews, so hopefully this helps some of you out. Uh, for VintageGamer.com, I am Mark, and please give me a like or a subscribe so I can do more videos for you. Thanks. Real quick before I go, and I thought about this after the fact, um, the monitors do, uh, if you look at them from the side here, they do, you can angle them uh, back and forth like that. Uh, that is, uh, just forgot to mention that, that's important. So as you can see, I did get them to line up. Uh, really nicely. Uh, I'm not using a monitor stand or anything like that. They're just on their uh, uh, respective bases. And this is kind of my... Uh, obviously this is the, the temporary uh, office. We talked about that. But this is kind of my day-to-day my -day thing. Um, when, YouTube is not my job, at least not yet. But over here I, I usually have my email up and um, I'll be going through a, a contract or a lease or something like that. And I generally have the financial news up on the other monitor. And that works out pretty well for me. I, I used to just have a big TV at the other end of the room, and I, you know, I was constantly, if I wanted to take a quick glance at what the, the Dow was doing or something like that, um, it was just kind of, I'd have to swivel my chairs. You know, it, we're talking about fractions of a second, really, but it, it's just easier. Uh, if I'm doing a lot of work, uh, if I'm going through multiple things, or if I'm putting together uh, some sort of uh, marketing package for a property or something, I'm in real estate if you can't, uh, if you haven't discerned that, um, yeah, I, I won't have the uh, financial news up, but I'll, I'll be using both screens. Uh, when I'm editing videos, uh, I typically use both screens, but all the editing's done on one, and then I'll have uh, Photoshop or uh, something like that up on the other. Or if I'm just doing some uh, internet browsing or need to do a little research for the video, that'll be on the other screen, and this, this will have up uh, iMovie or Final Cut or whatever. And as you can see, uh, Fox News, go Liz McDowell. That's who that is, if, in case you don't know. And uh, right now, uh, just a quick shout out to uh, Setup Wars. Uh, if you haven't checked out Setup Wars, uh, it's Tech Source is the channel, and he has a whole series. It's just people submit their their setups. His name's Edgar, and that's a that's a pretty sweet channel. I would recommend checking it out. I got a lot of good ideas uh, for my uh, forthcoming office uh, off that channel. Anyway, peace out, guys. Sit, Dick. Sit. Good cat.